Fish oil is a big one. Clinical benefits of high, high dose fish oil. Now most people go, ugh, with fish oil because here's the thing. If you've ever had fish oil and they call repeats, right, you burp, fish, it's because you got a poor grade, a, a low grade fish oil. Spend the money, get better quality stuff. It's, there's, there's literally over 40,000 peer reviewed scientific articles on the benefits of fish oil in high doses. From everything from depression, to chronic pain, to heart disease, to cancer, to endometriosis, to, um, to ovarian cysts, to you name it, this stuff seems to benefit it. Why? Because omega-3 fats turn inflammation off. Omega-6 fats turn inflammation on. They are both called essential fatty acids. They're called that because they're essential. If you don't have them, you would die. Both the pro and the anti. But here's what happens. Grain is the primary source of omega-6. So no wonder we're all screwed up. We eat all this bread and pasta and cereal and all these things because we've been programmed 9 to 11 servings, right? And so we get all this and we cook with canola oil and Wesson oil and, right? So we're getting all this omega-6s in. And so what we see, what we see is that in order to get your balance, you got to be taking a supplement of omega-3 fats. Two and a half grams a day just to maintain wellness. Five grams a day if you're trying to treat diabetes or congestive heart disease. Seven and a half grams a day if you want to treat chronic pain. And over 10 grams a day if you want to treat frank neurologic disease. So here's the thing, that's a lot. That's a lot. And that's not, that, you're not getting all of that just even if you, you couldn't eat enough fish to get that. You have to supplement. Now don't be fooled. When you buy a supplement, it may say 1,000 1, milligrams, which means one gram. Not too bad. I mean, it's cheap over at Costco, right? But if you read the back, the actual omega-3 part is only about 40%. So from that one capsule, you're really only getting 400 milligrams. So in order to get to five grams, you would have to take like 12 of those every single day. What I recommend is you got to factor that in your costs. Are you really saving money if you got to take that much? And you're taking that's a lot of oil. And it also means that about 60% of it is fats you don't really need. So it adds to your caloric count and it's what go, makes you go fish. So you want pharmaceutical grade, which is what we carry here. And it's more expensive. But it's more concentrated. You don't have to take as many capsules. And it tastes surprisingly clean. My daughter, she's a nut. She chews them. Because it's surprisingly clean. It's like sushi. If you have really fresh sushi, it does not taste fishy at all. If you've ever had fishy fish, it's because it's already breaking down. It's not fresh. So what this is saying is your ratio between 6 and 3. So right, you would divide your 6 by your 3. So therefore, the lower the number, the better. Right? If your 1 divided by 3 is going to be a point zero something, right? So here we go. From isolated pharmaceutical fish oil, the ratio is 0 0.05. Fantastic. Very high in omega-3s compared to omega-6s. Very good. Very beneficial. Good way to supplement. Be careful supplementing with flax oil. It's mostly omega-6. You will never get in balance if you supplement with flax oil. You will never get in balance. The worst thing you can supplement with. You're actually causing more problems doing that. But it says omega-3 on it. I know. I know. This isn't what I was taught. I know. Ross, that's what I'm saying. It, the problem is, is nobody goes through the science. You get somebody that gives you a dead doctor's don't lie tape. Or some person who's a, you know, who's a hairdresser is going to teach you about nutrition. You guys, you, I need, that's why I go in the detail and I keep you longer. I want you to get behind the scenes and understand the physiology behind it. Once you get it, it makes sense. Once you get it, now, whether you do it or not, it's a whole other thing. But once you get it, you go, now I see why it's not working. It's going to take a little while. It does. And it's okay. It took my family about four years to make these changes. And I teach it. 
So don't be discouraged. Have a game plan and move forward. Stay plugged in the office. Get on our email. Stay plugged in. You got to hear it more than once. I'm amazed how many people don't come back. You got to hear it over and over. Because it's, it's, it's so contrary to what we hear out there. Because why? You saw all the false ads. It's about money. And if you don't believe me, I will give you 100% of your money back for today's class. <laughs> Grain-fed meats, grain-fed fish, grain-fed all that is diabetic animals. High in the wrong types of fats. They get the same bad ratio we do and then we eat them which further makes our ratios bad. This is why you should only, if you're going to switch your finances to organic, start with organic, grass-fed animal products. Start there. It's way more expensive. It's about 20-25% more. How's the safflower oil? Almost all six. Almost all six. And it rants, goes rancid real easy too, doesn't it? I mean, how long does it last in your cupboard before it starts smelling funky? A few months? Coconut oil will sit in your cupboard for decades. Never changes. Oh, but it's saturated fat. You've been lied to. Eat it. Especially if you have weight problems. <laughs> it, it'll stimulate thyroid. Okay? So I'm going to sum it with this. We talked about two key things today. Well, three. Read your labels. Read your labels. Got to be savvy. Parts per billion can kill you. And it kills you slowly. What we commonly call aging. Right? Number two. Cut out the sugars. Because it creates a hormone and it stimulates a hormone called insulin which is highly inflammatory. Three. Increase your omega-3s. So that you can... So, so here's what we see. Here's the condition, here's the impact of insulin, which is driven through sugar, and here's the impact of eicosanoids, which is driven through omega fat balance ratios, right? We need them both, but they need to be in the right ratio. If you're trying to lose fat, it's primarily an issue of grains and sugars and fruit and that. Not as big of a deal with your eicosanoids. Conversely, if you're trying to get rid of chronic inflammatory pain, it's almost all fatty acids, not your weight. Oh, I know I need to lose weight. Not really. You mean my weight is because my, why my knees hurt? No, not necessarily. I know professional athletes that carry 4% body fat and weigh 300 pounds. So it's not weight. It's the makeup of the body that matters. Does that make sense? It's, it's, it's the makeup. And you can see that there's a blend. What do I recommend? Do them both. <laughs> Just stack the odds in your favor. Do them both. Typical omega-3 ratios. In Okinawa, Japan, there's 20,000 people over 100, 100 years of age. Less than 5% need any medical management at all. Any. At all. Okay? No drugs. Their ratio of 6 to 3, if you divide it, is 1.5. Right in the sweet spot. Makes sense. They have a bunch of people that don't need any medical treatment. In America, our ratio, remember the lower the number the better, is 12. 12 to 1. Is chronic inflammation a problem in our country? For people that suffer depression, their ratios typically are 20 to 1. Fatty acid ratios are totally out of whack. With people with multiple sclerosis, a neurologic disease, it can be as high as 50 to 1. <laughs> 